done deal, right? Like, I'm going to go to heaven, inshallah, it's all good. That's not how it works. In our religion, we don't take things lightly, we don't take things for granted. Jannah will only be given by Allah's mercy, as the Prophet ﷺ has told us. But to earn Allah's mercy, Allah does expect us to, to, to put effort in. And we talked about this in three, or three sessions ago, maybe. There's two types of hope. There is what's called real hope and false hope. Raja and tamanni. So real hope is, in the dunya, let's say real hope is, if I want a job and the employer tells me, okay, you have to uh, build these many slides or spreadsheets or build these many walls, whatever physical job somebody has, and then you'll, you know, I'll pay you your paycheck at the end of the week or at the end of the two weeks. You're like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to like make sure I have at my, 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 put the effort in, drink my coffee, go to work, get all the work done, make sure it's good work. And then I'm going to get the paycheck. That's, and that's, that's, that's a type of hope. False hope is to be like, well, yeah, he said he's going to give me the paycheck, so I'm going to not do anything. I'm just going to sleep all day, watch TV, hang out with my friends, just not actually get anything done, go watch a movie, whatever it is. And then at the end of the two weeks, I'm going to be like, hey, where's the money? And they'll be like, you didn't do any of the work. I'm not just, not, not, only, not only am I not going to pay you, I'm going to fire you. That's what the person, employer would say, right? But for some reason when it comes to religion, in the dunya we get this, but in religion we're like, I'm not going to do much. Pray on Jummah, maybe I'll pray on Eid, maybe I'll pray a couple other prayers here and there. I'm going to skip my fajrs because I can't wake up that early, it's too early for me. Um, I'm just going to just relax, coast. And then I'm going to expect at the, at, at the end of the day, no, no, yeah, Allah is all forgiving, it's all good, you know. That's, Allah is all forgiving. But what, you, what, you're, what somebody is doing in a very, very, very obvious way to the one who can see it is they're trying to play a game with Allah. And that's not, that's not appropriate, right? Allah is all forgiving and Allah is also all wise and Allah is also the one who takes us to account, which is why He has a day of judgment. Otherwise, there would be no judgment in our religion. We would have no concept of the Day of Judgment. And um, we're the only religion who has a proper understanding to the T of an actual afterlife and every single thing that's going to happen in the afterlife. From the time that we pass away to the, to the, to the time that we are, are enter into our final destination, inshallah, Jannah, or not. The, every event that's going to happen. We know that there's a bridge. We know that there's a that there's a meeting point where the Prophet ﷺ is going to be. We know the accounting. We know how long the accounting is. The Day of Judgment is so grand that it's given well over a few dozen names in the Qur'an. That's how many names the Day of Judgment is, is given. The day where the debts fall due, Yom ad din which we repeat regularly and so on and so forth. So many, because it's real. So the judgment happens. And so the person in the state of Ghafla will start to say that eh, it's all good. I don't have to do anything. I'll get by. That's a trick of shaitan. The person who starts to take their religion seriously should say, no. Just like in dunya, I have to work to earn anything. I'm not going to get a degree. I'm not going to get an A grade in school if I don't study. I'm not going to get paid if I don't actually work. Uh, and I'm definitely not going to be able to succeed in the world if I don't actually know what I'm doing. Similarly, in our religion, one knows that if I don't actually put in the work, this is false hope. And, and it's, there's, a always, there's, a, there's always a... A, a hope we have in Allah that Allah will give us far more than we earned because we can't really earn anything at the end of the day that Allah's generosity um, is, is immense but we, he definitely has an expectation and our job is to not overthink it and to just fulfill that expectation and to go to go you know to do as much as we can um, in addition to that in terms of the supererogatory actions so that's the second type of rafla that exists or the second branch you could say one is we don't understand our divine purpose in this life. The second is we think there's no accountability or we kind of think we're way from that accountability. Like yeah, everybody else will be taken into account. So we're super harsh on everybody else. Like, don't you fear God? Da, 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 da. And when it's on us, it's all good. I, I'm, I'm okay. You know, my, my mom makes dua for me, so it's okay. Like I don't have to, you know, like the type of things that the nafs comes up with to make excuses, it always makes excuses for itself. The, the, belief, the person who's on the spiritual path makes excuses for other people, makes no excuses for the nafs. They say they always take the azima for themselves.